Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Okay. You know it. Yeah. Hi guys! Hey, what's up? And, you know, just thinking about that porn bathroom. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. I, I think when I was, like, maybe in elementary or middle school, there was a restaurant I once went to, and I remember the walls being kind of dirty. Mm -hmm. Like, having a lot, a lot of naked chicks, but I, mm -hmm. I don't think it was as bad or as revealing as the one you went to. Yeah. You there were, like, warnings on the door. They're like, no children allowed in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, that's I mean, funny. it's a bar, so why are there children in here anyway? I don't know. Maybe because it's Montana. So it was a it was a 17 and up bar or 18 and up, I, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, then that wouldn't be there. I think, like, kids would sometimes... I don't fucking know. I know the drinking age is, uh... I think you have to be 18 or 19. No, it's 21 everywhere in the U.S. No, I, I mean in Canada. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I didn't specify. Yes. Yeah. I think it, it's 18. I remember one time I went on a road trip with some college friends. Okay. Over to... Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's the age you're an adult at. I just remember I went to on a trip to Vancouver with some college buddies back uh -huh. on spring break uh -huh. during my first year of college, and uh -huh. they were excited to get to, you know, drink at some bars and stuff. Right. And I was like, my, I don't turn 19 for another month. God damn it. Oh, I was so close. I could have drunk and had fun with you guys. But, uh. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking haters. As if only my mother... You know, g brought me to life about a month earlier. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But anyways, that's not a big problem. Honestly, I, I don't even drink that much alcohol anymore. Heck, I don't drink at all anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, when's the last time you had a drink? Like years ago, right? Uh, okay. There's a ferry oh, in there. Oh yeah. I was so. actually just wondering. I'm like, where are the ferries? Hey there, I'm behind bars. I did some pretty fucked up shot shit back on DK oh, Island. No, <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Think I had the shot. Uh, you're not gonna catch me, prick. What? Oh. Oh, I'm shit, spamming all the buttons. I'm like, I don't know the button, I don't know the button. Okay, fine, here's an increase. No, fuck off. <laughs> nice job. Uh, did we get both on here? Uh, both bananas? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a dead guy. It's, it's Spooktober, man. Oh, maybe it's, uh, <laughs> that'd be funny though. It's Captain Black dun, 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 Oh, yeah. What's our artist shout out of the day? Uh, let me get around episode, to it. So, we get, today we got Alzuna. Here's, Hi, Alzuna. So, what's funny is I actually met Alzuna. Her real name is Elisa Bishop. Uh, I met her at a con last year, and I said I would give her a shout out on the show, but we, I forgot to. So, now... When I met her again at Comic Con, I was like, "Oh, I forgot to give you a shout out. Sorry." And she was like, "Oh, it's okay." I'm like, "No." She's like, "I don't want to be on your shitty ass show." I was like, "No, <laughs> it's not okay. I'm giving you a shout out. God damn it. Here, let me get your business card." And here's her other picture. This she has a lot of cool landscape paintings right here. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot. I can imagine her doing concept art for uh, video cool. games and mm -hmm. shows and stuff. I think she'd be really good at that. But yeah, go check it her out. professional. Elisa Bishop, a.k.a. Alzuna. Elliot thought that that cowgirl in that one picture was Jessie from Toy Story. At yeah, first. a little bit. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I'll probably show you this before the next episode. Um, I don't want to see your ween. Did you? Uh, Put that away! Sorry, I'm all burpy right now. Um, You probably didn't see this. They showed a new trailer for Toy Story 4. Oh. Yeah, it's actually looking uh, pretty decent right now. Mm, I feel like they shouldn't have a Toy Story 4. So, so do a lot of other people, but... Like they ended it really well, mm -hmm. the third one. Like, there's no reason to keep going. Yeah. Don't ruin it, damn it. Don't ruin it. Yeah, it was a good ending. It's... I mean, I agree. I think three ended pretty... Okay, here's the thing. Okay, spoilers for those of you who haven't seen Toy Story 3. You know, all two of you. Um, Here's the interesting thing. The first Toy Story, the very opening shot, is a picture of Andy's wallpaper... Oh, my lovely pearls. I hope this golden banana will... You interrupted me so I couldn't finish. <laughs> oh, I thought she was going to barf it out. You know, having sex with mermaids is really weird. Yeah. See, they, they lay their eggs just like fish, and then you just have to jerk off onto them, and that's mm. how you create more mermaids and more mermen. Nice. You know. Solid. You can't have any actual legit intercourse. It's kind of lame. Lame. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so the very first shot in the first Toy Story is Andy's wallpaper. Yeah. You know, the the blue wallpaper with the white cowboy clouds? Yep. Toy Story 3, the final shot, the camera pans up to the sky. It's a blue sky with those same white cowboy clouds. 
Mm. So if you look at it, Toy Story 1 starts with that, and then Toy Story 3 ends with that shot. Wow. So it's almost like a perfect symbolic ending to the entire series. Wow. So, yeah, I, I have a feeling maybe they were planning that to be the last one, but no, they, they uh, came up with this new story idea, and they're passionate about it, so. Or, what? Yeah, I was going to say, or they just want money. Well, of course, people, they want money. I'm, when I say them, I mean, like, the head guys at Pixar. Yeah. Because the story is John Lasseter and some other dudes who made the original Toy Story movies. Sure. For the longest time, they were like, nah, we don't need to make a fourth one. What else? Yeah. We'll make short films and keep Toy Story alive, but we don't have to make a fourth but one. But then they came up with this new idea, and they they were like, wow, okay, you know what? This is awesome. We need to tell this. So we can make a shit ton of money. Nah, okay, whatever. <laughs> people always resort to that. It's like they make a sequel. It's purely because of greed. And I get why people say that, but God damn it, there is passion. Oh no, I don't doubt that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. I'm so just saying like, why don't you do something new? Yeah, the, <laughs> there the, there was somebody I talked to recently who said, uh, no, I I don't watch sequels. I don't like supporting. Yeah, you this. fucking said that. And I Some, was like, somebody what? said that, and I was like, what? You're a dumbass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because... Uh, anyways, that's... So, um... But, yeah, no, I'll, I'll probably show you the trailer at some point today. But, nice. uh... Yeah, no, so I'm, I'm thinking Toy Story 4 might be good. Might be. Then we got the new Aladdin and the new Lion King movies coming out this summer. Yeah, yeet. Disney's gonna be rolling in the dough rolling this entire in year. Nuts. Then you got Frozen 2 coming out in November. Yeah. That actually looks pretty badass. I know you've never seen Frozen, so... Nope. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it shows. The... Let it snow, let it snow, me, 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 me. Let it go, 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 bitches. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, was there a, another game you wanted to talk about this episode? Uh, I don't know. We got a list. Yeah, we sure do. Did you want um, to talk about uh, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice? Sure. You've been streaming that recently. Yeah, I have been. Um, I was gonna save that until. We're not when I'm not paying attention to oh, things okay. on a timer. Okay, we can save that for later then. Cool. As in like a minute from now? I don't know. Whenever I bring it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well you then. got anything? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I could bring it up if you want. Do you want me to? I don't know. What do you want, James? Okay, well, where, where the hell is the... What number was it? Two? I don't know. I'm colorblind. <sighs> okay, I think it's to the left. Yeah, probably. That's where I was looking. It's probably right next to DK's. Mm. It should be right around the yeah, corner. Yeah, close. I'm just... I have to turn wide so I can... There you oh, go. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, what? Sekiro? No. What? Are you... What? What? You got anything, James? What? What do you want, James? What? So, did you know they're making a Green Eggs and Ham show, show for Netflix? Wait, that sounds dumb. <laughs> that sounds stupid. Ellen Netflix is so fucking dumb sometimes. Really? Yeah. A <laughs> bunch of fucking whatever. Yeah, they're, uh, Ellen DeGeneres is actually one of the producers. Mm. Yeah, they're making a Green Eggs and Ham te Netflix show. <laughs> Why? Because they can. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah, well... You Maybe know. it'll be good. Who knows? Maybe I'm being a... Uh, I don't know. A bottle. Supposedly, the story's gonna be like Sam I Am and Guy Am I, the yeah. guy who previously had no name. You know, the, the guy who's like, fuck Green Eggs and Ham, I don't like that yep. shit, even though I've never tried it before. I know it sucks. Yep. Um, it's about them going on like a road trip or something. Okay. And uh, it's it's Animated. supposed to be like, yeah, planes, trains, and automobiles, but with Green Eggs and Ham. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know all the details, but yeah, um, apparently each episode is costing millions of dollars to make. So, what? that animation is probably going to be really damn good. Oh my god, I hate... Dude, Depth perception. I can't see it! <laughs> Such horse ass! Hey, Diddy, I want to tell you about my Twitter. <laughs> here, Diddy, well, are you trying to get something? You don't look busy. So, anyways, here, I tweet about, um, uh, about games every day. <laughs> what? Uh, the starfish. Oh. The starfish I was getting in your way. Um. Mm. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Netflix, oh, you missed some bananas. Yep, yep, yep. Netflix is very much like, I don't know, we're going to make something because we have an ethical duty to promote some something. And I'm like, okay, 
I'm never gonna watch that show. And then I watch it, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. Something like, uh, like Sex Ed. I was like, okay, they're they're trying to be all, all like, um, I, I don't know. Uh, hey guys, we're gonna educate you on like how to. I, I, I don't even fucking know. I just thought it was going to be a bunch of stupid shit. I'm trying to tread my words carefully. I'm just going to speak openly. I thought it was going to be a bunch of, like, uh... You have to ask for consent before you hold hands. Just, like, some stupid new agey shit. But, no, it was a pretty good show. Um, what show are you talking about? It's called Sex Ed, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, that's actually... Oh, I thought you were... At first, I thought you were talking about, like, high school. No, 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 no. Netflix made a show called Sex Ed. And it was pretty good. Oh, huh, um, okay. I don't know if Netflix made it or they just bought the rights to it. But yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, and th there's other shows like that too. I'm like, ah, oh, this is just like trying to get views because it's like a hot topic now. But no, a lot of them are good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I just give ben Net I don't give Netflix the benefit of the doubt a lot of times. <laughs> I'm like, it's going to be dumb and then it's really good. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never do it. No, dude. It's like sometimes, For sure. sometimes like some movies, like a lot of Pixar movies supposedly don't have very good trailers, but then they end up getting like 99 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like, mm. whoa, cool. That is cool. You know what game is rated really well right now? <laughs> what? Risk of Rain 2, which just came out. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. What is, what is Risk of Rain? You, you said you just bought it, right? Yeah, so Risk of Rain is uh, like a, a multiplayer, like co-op uh, wave survival, like, shooter game. So, it's first person, and you spawn in on a map, and it's somewhat random, like, where things spawn on the map is random, and you and your friends have to go and find the boss spawner on each level, and then spawn the boss and kill him. Then you can take a teleporter to the next level. Uh, and when you do that, you, uh, the game progressively gets harder as time goes on. Uh, so you just see how many levels you can clear but like when you kill things um, You get money and then you can use money to find chests on the map and open them and get power-ups like Every time you attack someone you have a chance to spawn a fire tornado on them or like you heal when you do damage Stuff like that. Huh. Okay. This kind of reminds me of zombies from cod. Yeah, okay um, same, same kind of I mean that's a wave survival thing. So it's yeah somewhat similar to that Hey, but I feel like you may have missed something. That's what I was thinking. Too. Turn around! Hurry! The gate's gonna shut! The gate's- No! 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 Hit B! Hit B! Don't. I'm trying! I'm trying! Phew. Okay. Because if you hit A, you'll yeah, yeah, go yeah, out I too know. far. <laughs> okay, let's come- Let's start with the right wall. Okay. What do you say? I just did that, but with the left wall. Oh, okay. So I'm- Wait, so there's nothing on the desk right there? Nope. A book. There's a book. There's a book! Okay. Called How to Slurp My Ween! Okay. Um... So there's nothing in the bed over there? There, we already got the... Banana. Oh, yeah, the banana was there. Okay, you know what, I think I was just seeing things. Better <laughs> better safe than sorry, I suppose. Okay, who's the last con that we... I don't know, we... man. Is it Chunky? Because... Yeah, we didn't... Oh, a wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, what? I know where Chunky's where? instrument pad is. It's in where? the other section of the level. It is? Yeah, you remember... Last time we recorded, there was um, that section with the red casplad and the triangle pad. Nope. But okay. Okay. Well, uh, it's there. I believe you. Oh, hey. Ooh, blue balloon. That is a hundred balloons. Sounds good, man. I think. Sweet dude. <laughs> but yeah. So um, what's it called? Something rain. Something? Risk of rain two. Risk of rain. Wait. Yeah. So what's the setting? Is it like a sci-fi game? Um, I I don't know. Sort of. I guess. Yeah. It's like a futuristic shooter survival. Okay. Yeah, it's Wait. an indie game. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had a special. If you bought it before today, you got two copies for the price of one. It was like 20 bucks. Oh, no way. Yep. Oh, that's rad. So I gave it to my friend, then some of my other friends bought it, and they give it to friends, so a bunch of us have it now. That's sick, dude. <laughs> Yo, yeah, dude! And the first one was very fun as well, Risk of Rain 1. Risk of Rain 2 is basically the exact same game as Risk of Rain 1. It's just the first one is in 2D, and the second one is in 3D. Okay. So, huh. it's sweet. But it has, right. like, a lot of the same items, a lot of the same characters, same bosses, same, you know. But it's, like, totally different in 3D. So where okay. do I need to go? Uh, go straight ahead. Let's see. I th I, I think you can jump up there when cold. the water level's down. Oh, I think you're right, man. I hit it once, and I was like, nah, that's too far. Yeah, I think it opened up that one of the gates. Yeah. So you gotta be uh, chunky. Cool. <laughs> I love Lanky's voice. Yeah, dude. He's the a silly goober. Yeah, I love him. That's why he's your favorite. 
Yeah. <laughs> so you. nice out today. Yeah, dude. Tell me about it. Okay. You're, you're digging but your. Uh, it's sunny. You're digging your uh, new camera lenses you got because we could walk around and t you could take some nice pictures. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I got the Nifty Fifty. That's what people call it. It's a fifty millimeter prime lens, so it's like um, on a lot of DSLR lenses you can um, zoom, but a prime lens you can't zoom. But you can get like a really large aperture. An aperture is like how much light you're letting into the lens, mm -hmm. and that determines your depth of field. And it determines how bright your shot is going to be, amongst other things. So you got a brighter shot and a lower depth of field, but that means... Uh, so, like, your focal point, what you're focusing on, that'll be in focus, but everything near it will be blurred. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like, should I share one of your pictures on screen? Sure, we, I'll show a picture of Cletus. You can see how the foreground and background are blurred. Yeah, yeah. I think it's super awesome. Yep, I edited it, too. So it's, like, I, I made it a little less saturated. Make oops. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's right by it's the. It's on the top. It's 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 by the unguard box on top, I believe. Yeah. This. Oh, the really big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet, you made it. Chunky. Big right, Jen. Dude, speaking of cameras. Um. Next time on Royal Goobs.